My father was always my coach. My dad, throughout my teenage years and through high school, and then I went to the Air Force. I went there for two years. Through that period, it was my dad. Uh, guys always, you know, like my pro uh, at my club, was his name was Phil Simmons. He's now down in Durban, but he was a German golf club. He was a left-hander. And he had a great technique. I mean, his swing was beautiful. And he would hit it miles. And he taught me a lot. But he never really changed my swing. He showed me trajectory. What the nice trajectory is, how to hit the ball. And that always, uh, I found that very interesting. And he, you because know, I had this big looping draw okay. for yeah. most of my days. You know, I was quite a skinny kid. And I had to grip the club quite strong. Uh, quite strong. Yeah. So that encourage a big draw. I had to hit it long and I used to have that snap every now and again and I still battle with it today. I went with David Ledbetter, I have a, had a lesson with him around about that probably 91 or so and he taught me some stuff. I didn't agree with a lot of the stuff but he became kind of my teacher for a good 10, 10 15 years and we worked together. Yeah. But unlike David's other pupils, you know, we didn't go with the over, overall. It was a, just getting myself in better positions. Because with this big, strong grip, I used to go inside on the way back and then kind of reroute it a little bit. And I got a little laid off and a little bit too underneath, underneath yeah. here and, and so forth. So to start swinging more on plane, that was a big battle for yeah. us to yeah. get the lines better. Because my lines used to be a little all over the place. And to get it more up and more down, you know, more on plane. Very good question. And that, that's the secret, is how you balance that. People like myself, natural players, but you have a flaw and you have to work on that flaw in your swing, which is a technical flaw. And as long as you work on that one flaw, because nobody's got a perfect swing, yeah. but you can't keep going on you can't keep adding you know to that technical yeah. aspect of it and i think that's where players go wrong because they they see something i saw it now with rory rory started also having that little took it out and then rerouting it yeah. on the way down and i saw he, he, he worked when i played with him yet at the pga in may i mean he was nowhere you know i was really quite worried for him and I spoke to JP, his caddy, and, and so forth. But, he, I mean, he's, not, he's no dummy. And he knew what he needed to work on. Went out, and two, three months later, he's the world number one now. And that's the talent of the guy. Yeah. And with those kind of guys, he knew where the floor was, went out there and just fixed that. And the whole the rest of the game f fell in line. Yeah. Where other guys will go with that and then go on something else, can you imagine if he started trying to get his hips going slower? Because he's got the un most unbelievable hip action where all that power is. If somebody told him, no, your hips are going way too fast, well, he would be gone. And I've seen that in other people. Yeah.